Okay, well, first rule of being the best marketer in the world is have a money gun that works. No, that's a joke. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna be going over the five tips to be the best marketer possible. I absolutely love marketing. I study this field. I eat, breathe, sleep marketing, and I'm gonna be going over what I've learned from the greats and what I try to do myself in being the best marketer you can to make a lot of money and generally be able to retire young and live a nice life, right? So let's get into it. These are five bomb tips of being the best marketer. There we go, okay, it works. Now the first rule to being the best marketer is financial literacy. Now why are we talking about being good with finances, John? Come on, John, I wanna spend my money. You know what? To be a good marketer, you need to be in the game and stay in the game. And that's knowing both your money equation and that is also being on top of your money. Know how it comes in, know how it goes out. Best marketers are not broke. You know what, a lot of good marketers I know actually are broke. It's because they have no financial literacy. They make a lot of money and they spend it even faster. And to stay in the game, you need to be good with finances. But really, you need to know your wealth equation, okay? What is the money equation in your business? Now, you can be the best marketers. I know some really good marketers that have horrible wealth equations. Now, let's say you're a copywriter and you charge $1,000 to write an email, right? Well, let's say you can write two or three good emails a day, okay? Now, two or three good emails a day, you're gonna be able Maximum you're gonna be able to make, I don't know, you know, what is that, like 60 some thousand dollars a month? Knowing that, you need to, to be the best marketer, you should make a lot of money, just like being a good salesperson. So give yourself a way that you can have unlimited potential and make exponential incomes with marketing. You know, the best marketers I know, they run companies and they sell products. Their companies make hundreds of millions of dollars per year. And, you know, one of my friends, he's a copywriter. He does the same thing that a guy writing emails for you know $100 an email does, but he actually has built a company around himself. The new house he's buying is like $35 million, right? But he's just as good of a marketer as another guy I know who charges $50 to $100 an hour to review copy. How does that make sense, right? They're both amazing marketers, but one has a different wealth equation than the other. Okay, let's move onwards. The best marketers know that the money is in optimization, okay? Optimization and data analysis. I'm looking over my numbers like a fiend. I analyze every single, you know, even on YouTube, I'm analyzing every single view, every single watch time, every single session time. I'm watching all these different numbers. I'm looking at my, my sub counts. I'm looking at my competitors' sub counts. I'm, you know, paying people in my competitors' companies to figure out how many subs or what they're doing. I'm doing everything and I'm optimizing everything I do around what works, right? And it's the same thing with my ad campaigns because every time that I don't know if I spend money on an ad that is not working as well, that's money down the drain. And every time I'm not looking at my numbers or my tracking is off, that's money down the drain. And what happens is if you're not looking over all your numbers and if you're not optimizing your landing pages to have better messaging, if you're not looking over your email sequences to have better open rates, you just lost and lost and lost money all over the place, all over your funnel and you're flushing it down the drain. So know your numbers, analyze your stuff, optimize it, put better subject lines in, put, use the better ads, et cetera. You can do this very easily. The third thing to be the best marketer is, we're Louis Vuitton, no, it's actually, you gotta mix it up, okay? Mix it up. And you know, this might sound a little weird because I talk a lot about focus, but the reality of marketing, and you know, I've been doing this for 10 years now, is that marketing channels, some come, some go, some niches are hot, some niches are not, you know? When I started, I started advertising on, you know, 
remnant inventory platforms like SiteScout. Then I moved to Google Ads. Then, you know, it was Facebook ads that were really easy to make money with. And right now I'm spending about $10,000 a day on YouTube ads because YouTube ads is the cheapest, easiest, biggest ROI place that I can make money in my particular business. So now you can, you can make a lot of money focused on just one niche. You know, that's a great place to get started, but the best marketers I've seen, they've transitioned from, you know, it's been fluid. They haven't failed. They stuck with everything to see it out to its natural conclusion. But I've mixed it up. I've promoted health products. I've promoted survival products. I'm promoting business opportunity products. I've done all sorts of different marketing. And the best marketers, I'm not saying mix it up if you're, if you're losing money. You know, if you're losing money and you can't get anything working, don't even think about being, just get the basics down. But if you want to be the best marketer, keep in mind, this is just for the best. This is for people who already got stuff working. Then mix it up, okay? Mix it up from time to time. Try something new. Try Twitter ads. You know, I just heard Snapchat ads came out. Try that out. Spotify, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I just try stuff out. And the best marketers I know, they love the process. They do that too. Okay, people, it's time. Let's subscribe. If you are getting massive value from this, type in the comments, massive value, because all we do is marketing on this channel. So type in massive value. If you've been getting massive value from this. And also make sure, you know, if you have a question or anything for me, anything personal, whatever, leave a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, slam that button, and join the money club. You want to talk to me, like act, actually like, talk to me and have me answer your questions. Make sure you join the money club because twice a month I go live and I will talk to you and answer any of your questions. And you also, as a member of the money club, which is $50 a month, you get access to over 40 hours of past trainings I've done and step-by-step -step courses where you can learn how to make your first commissions online and also just, you know, be an entrepreneur, the mindset, and also about copywriting. I have a lot of different mini courses that have been unreleased up until this point that you get access by joining the Money Club. So slam it, hashtag Money Club right there. <laughs> Number four for being the best marketer, okay? And I'm not talking about getting started because getting started is very different from this in number four. Create your own ads sometimes. Now, if anybody here is a student of my super affiliate system, first off, shout out, what up? You guys rock. But you know that in my six week training course, I teach people, I literally give people ad templates to use that are working. Now, to get started in marketing, you know, I'd say before you're making at least a million dollars, you shouldn't be creating any of your own ads. Again, to be the best marketer, you got to be going way above and beyond that. Don't create your own ads. But if you want to be the best, experiment around with some of your own ads. Don't do it all the time. Even I, you know, I'll do, I'll do five ads, you know, four ads based on somebody else's ads. I'll just rewrite them. But I'll do one ad myself, right? I mix it up, right? I throw in one ad that I just created from my mind. Usually they don't work, but sometimes they do. But that's how you be the best marketer is you mix it up a little bit and you do a little bit of your own creation. Now, number six is you keep training. So some people say I look like Conor McGregor on this channel and I appreciate the compliment. I, I, I like the guy, he's a really cool dude. But one of the things that Conor said, he's been very inspirational, is he says, I never stop training. He never stops training. He loves training. He talks about training all the time. And that's the thing, never stop training because the day you stop training is the day you start your decline. So just keep training. Keep learning more. You can join my course. There are links in the description, the super affiliate system. If you wanna learn about paid advertising on Google, Facebook, YouTube, and email, and also how to create a business through affiliate marketing. But there's a lot of other courses out there. There's a lot of other ways you can learn. You could subscribe to this channel. You could join my money club. You know, there are other good YouTubers out there. Kevin David, what up? Ninja fam, hashtag Ninja fam if you follow Kevin David here in the comments. Kevin David fans, let me know, hashtag Ninja fan. But there are a lot of good marketers out there and to be the best, you're gonna do these five rules. Financial literacy, know your numbers, know your wealth equation 
optimization, look at your numbers, know how you can optimize and improve them. Mix it up, change things up from time to time. Create your own ads and keep training. I look forward to seeing you in other videos on this channel. Let's get it, come on. It's out there, marketing is fun. Get out there, just do it and put it into action. I have lots of videos on this channel about how to start marketing and tactics to do. And once you just start getting the ball rolling, and you start seeing that money come in, it gets really fun. And I hope you see it too, and I hope you enjoy marketing as much as I do. And on a personal note, this is actually kind of random, and I originally wasn't gonna go here, but one of my life goals, and I'm, I've, I haven't really told this to you on YouTube, but it's actually to be the number one teacher, or number one marketing teacher in the world. And you know, it it's kinda comes from my origin story, is I went to college and I just thought, I love learning, right? You see all these books around me, okay? You see, I have so many books. You know, I'm learning about relationships. This is Cormac McCarthy, The Road. You see these, you know, books, Neil Stevenson, really heady sci-fi. I'm constantly learning. Here's my main book, you know, Four Hour Work Week. But I'm constantly learning. I love reading. I've loved reading from an early age. I love chess. I won the spelling bee at my school. I've just, you know, I'm so interested by knowledge. My friends thought I was weird. I used to buy, you know, I had my parents give me as a birthday present audio tapes on World War II history and Civil War history. I got, not audio tapes, a video, like VHS. Like I got like a collection of like 20 things and I loved learning, but I went to college and you know, that was my time to learn business and it was not only just unapplicable, but it was boring. It wasn't relevant and the teachers weren't interested in what they were doing and the teachers weren't even successful what they were doing. The teachers never even worked for a marketing agency. They may have worked for it for like one year and, that, and I was just scratching my head and I said, this school thing sucks, but I loved learning. And it's been my passion, it's been my dream to be the number one marketing teacher in the world. I believe education has turned off a whole generation or generations of people when it should be turning people on to learning. That's my commitment to you, actually. Um, I've never really talked about this before, but my goal is to be the number one marketing teacher in the world. I enjoy education and keep following this channel. You'll see, I keep trying to make this exciting and I hope to bring more of you into this wonderful field of marketing. I've done very well by it and I hope this enthusiasm passes down to you for you to want to desire not just to make a lot of money, right? This is nice. But at the end of the day, I want you to enjoy the process to be the best marketer. And if you are committed to enjoying the process, type in committed. If you made it this far, type in committed. It's not a commitment to me, it's a commitment to yourself, and you'll have fun. See you in the next video.